This brand new AI tool allows you to create animated captions like Ali Abdal, Alex Hermosi and Iman Gatsi with just one click. The tool that I'm talking about is called Submagic and today I will compare it to Opus Clip, CapCut and Adobe Premiere Pro. I will check it based on their price, the quality and also on the time that I have to spend in order to create one reel. So as a short form content creator, I will give you my honest review about these tools. I will let you know which one is the best one and I'm not sponsored by any of these tools. I might earn a small commission if you use my discount code or if you use the link in the description below but that will support the channel. So let's get started with Submagic. So once you've clicked the link in the description, this is the page that we'll see. And now let's start the clock and create our first reel. So we log in. Now we create our video. We drag it over here. Then this is the video that I want to edit. We open it. We select the language, which for me is English. You can change the name and then we press upload. Okay, so boom, now our video already has captions. Take a look These at this. These are three investments that you need to make as a short form content. So that took one minute and 20 seconds, which is insanely fast. But now we can fine tune it to make it look even better. So let me do that and I will be back with you once I'm ready with this. Okay, so this is what our video looks like currently. These are three investments that you need to make as a short form content agency owner. Number one, invest in a good project management tool. This will save you a lot of time in keeping track of the work you've done for your client. So everything is already automated. You already have the pop-up, you already have the emojis, you already have the change in color. Everything is in there. And the best thing is you have different templates available. So for example, right now I'm using Hormozy 2, but you can also go with Devin. You, this one looks like this. Number two, hire a virtual assistant. Which I really like as well. Then you can do like Mr. B style. A virtual assistant can help you. Then you can do Ali Abdal style. Manage recurring tasks. You can do Iman Gatsi style. You also save up a lot of your time so you can spend that. And you have all different kinds of style outs there. So I also really like this one over here. Running your business. Number three, invest in a good lead finder software. And everything is already automated for you. You can just like change the size. You can change the position and you can change the colors. That's the only test that you need to do. You can slightly adjust like the sound effects in here. You can change the emojis in there and you can even add B-roll per scene. So that's pretty amazing how fast you're able to create a high quality piece of video with a online AI video editor tool like this one. So with three more minutes of my time, I managed to create something like this. I added transitions in there, I added B-roll in there, and I fine-tuned the captions. These are three investments that you need to make as a short form content agency owner. Number one, invest in a good project management tool. This will save you a lot of time in keeping track of the work you've done for your clients. Number two, hire a virtual assistant. A virtual assistant can help you manage recurring tasks, it will also save up a lot of your time so you can spend that on running your business. Number three, invest in a good lead finder software. Trust me, you don't want to do this manually. If you still do this manually, then you're wasting your time. So yeah, there you have it. That is how we create a video in Submagic. Now let me create a video in CapCut. So to create a video in CapCut, you need to have either some experience with CapCut or you need to watch a YouTube tutorial. So I found this YouTube tutorial online and I'm gonna create a video on that. I will use my widescreen over there. So let me cue a time-lapse of me creating a video of CapCut. So after 35 minutes, this is the result that I created from using CapCut. Keep in mind, I didn't add emojis, I didn't add sound effects, I didn't add any transitions or B-roll. That's all because it took already so much time just to do the captions alone. So let's take a look at it. These are three investments that you need to make as a short form content agency owner. Number one, invest in a good project management tool. This will save you a lot of time in keeping track of the work you've done for your clients. So because you have to edit each part individually, it takes a long time to get the captions right. It also takes a long time to change the color of each word individually. And with Submagic, everything goes on its own. So now let's try the same process of one of the other popular tools, which is called Opus Clip. So once you're at the website, you sign in and now you can drop in your video or you can upload your file. So I'm gonna upload my file over here. 
and now this takes some time to upload. Now our clip is uploaded and we can just click on get clips with one click and now our video will be uploaded. Currently, I already see it's on a high demand. We are on zero in queue and it will take like 20 minutes to create one clip, which compared to Submagic is pretty long. So let's wait for 20 minutes and come back after that. So that has actually been around 15 minutes and this is the video that it created. These are three investments that you need to make as a short form content agency owner. So yeah, it also has the animated subtitles in there and you can actually edit the clip yourself. So right now, I believe I have the emojis turned off, but you can turn it on and then you have auto emojis. You can see that money bag emoji. We can see the time. So yeah, these are the emojis that they add in there. And also in terms of design, we have a few features available. We can select like one line. Number one, invest in a good. Or we can select like three lines and we can also change the position. Unfortunately, we can't do like a drag or drop like Submagic. So we can either do like bottom, middle, top or auto. And on auto, it goes right here, which is perfect. Then we have a few transitions that we can choose from. Project management tool. Don't really like that one. This will save you a lot of time in keeping track of the work you've done. I think that one looks pretty good as well. For your clients. Number two, hire a, a virtual assistant. This one. A virtual assistant can help help you manage recurring tasks. So I like the first one the best, but we can also change like the colors. Make as a short form content. A so we have different templates to choose from. Number one, invest in a good project management tool. This will save you a lot of time in keeping track. And yeah, it's pretty similar to Submagic, but I would say it's a little bit, I don't know, it's just not, it's missing something. It's missing like the moving emojis in there. I feel like the subtitles aren't that good. So in terms of spelling mistakes, it didn't make any, which is really good. And then let's change the design slightly. I'm gonna go with the preset I have at preset template one. And we can also change the colors if we like. We can also do auto B-roll, so let's turn that on. Okay, so just over here, we have some B-roll. Let's see what it is. Task, it will also save up a lot of your time, so you can spend that on running. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like that. Let's, let's turn it off again. Okay, so now our video is done over here. And now we can move on to the video on Adobe Premiere Pro. As a short form content agency owner, the most popular way to create good looking reels is through Adobe Premiere. So I reached out to one of my editors and I asked him to create a video. The cost of this is about 10 to $20 and it will take around six hours to get one video done. So I've actually reached out to him this morning and let's check what the result is. These are three investments that you need to make as a short form content agency owner. Number one, invest in a good project management tool. This will save you a lot of time in keeping track of the work you've done for your clients. So as you can see, he adds some animated emojis. We can't do that through Submagic or through Opus Clip. That's unfortunate but let's compare all of these clips to each other and see which one is the best one based on the factors price, time, and also the quality. So in terms of like the time it took to create a video on Submagic, you can do it in less than a minute, but you want to adjust some things a little bit. So I've given it like a five minute mark that it will take you like five minutes to create one good looking video on Submagic. And the quality of that is pretty good. I would give it a four out of five. It's not perfect, it's not like all the way animated but in terms of the design it's really clean and it's super e easy to use you have the b-roll in there i will actually give it like a 4.5 now i think of it because you also have the transitions in there you have the b-roll in there you have the sound effects in there so yeah that's that's pretty amazing and that's all for less than a dollar the price is currently uh less than a dollar or like a dollar for 20 videos. If you use my discount code, then keep 90, then you can get a 10% discount, which will mean less than a dollar for one video. And if you go with a higher plan, like a pro plan or an agency plan, then it will cost you even less than a dollar. So for example, on this one, it will cost you like 50 cents for one video. And now let's compare it to Opus Clip. I feel like that's the closest competitor because it's also like AI generated. Opus Clip, actually it took like 20 minutes even to adjust the clip to make it look better and to change like the colors, anything like that. And the quality, I feel like it's not that good. I will give it three out of five stars. 
and then the price per video. So Opus Clip is actually pretty cheap as well. You can get like 80 clips for $19 a month, which is actually way less than a dollar. So it's way cheaper than Submagic. But in terms of quality, I would say, yeah, Submagic still wins it for me. And then we have CapCut. So CapCut takes a long time to learn. I had to watch several tutorials in order to become good at it. I'm still not good at it yet. So maybe I'm not the right person to decide on this. But I would say CapCut could be like four out of five quality because it actually has the potential of creating really high quality clips. I've seen editors do that who specialize in CapCut and they can create for really high quality. The price per video is also free. You might upgrade to the pro plan, but for now, like I use the free plan and you're perfectly capable of creating a, a video like that. But it will take you, I feel like longer than an hour. I would say at least one hour. And if you want to create good videos, then more like two to four hours per video. Then lastly, we have Adobe Premiere Pro. Pretty similar to CapCut, but I feel like there's more to it than there is on CapCut. If you're good at Adobe Premiere, like my editor, then you can create some high quality videos. And I know it has the potential to be like the best quality videos out there. So I will give this a five out of five stars and the price per video will be 10 to $20. So there you have it, the complete comparison and review of each and every tool that's currently out there and able to create good looking subtitles. For me personally, my favorite has to be Submagic. It's just because they have like a low price per video and the quality is also pretty high. But the most important thing to me is time. You can create this video in less than five minutes. So yeah, to me, that's just insane. So if you want to try out Submagic for yourself, then check the link in the description down below. And they were kind enough to share a discount code with me. So if you use the code DanKeith90, then you can get a discount on top of your purchase. If you enjoyed watching this video, then leave a like and I will see you in the next one.